and the world likes to call it diversity and inclusion and this whole idea that it's a great idea that everyone's different and that everyone has different uh, beliefs and everybody has different values and everybody has different ways of living their life. I'm not so sure. I think it's better when a society is cohesive. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, in the case where I'm talking with a woman and getting to know her and vetting her as a potential partner, if the topic of premarital sex comes up in any way, being that mainly because of your mentorship and my faith, I have completely converted to the church's view on it and believe it is a sacred act for a husband and a wife only, how do I convey this unpopular and traditional view on, the topic, on this topic to a woman while coming off wise and masculine? and effectively making her reflect inward on why the traditional role is the true way to achieve lifelong happiness, love and intimacy with your wife. Also cross-referencing why swinging and having casual sex is harmful to our being in many ways. Uh, it's easy to give off that good old Catholic boy beta impression with this virtue in this sexually deviant world, or should I say liberated? <laughs> I want to come across, uh, I want to avoid coming off that way and instead exemplify maturity, unwavering discipline, and masculinity in my words. This I understand would be something I address usually only if it presented it to me. If I'm called to proclaim my views on the topic, not something I go out of my way to explain. So, man, the very first thing I got to do is address this. Um, It's tough because we live in a world where there's such divergent virtues and we in, in, the, in the world likes to call it diversity and inclusion and this whole idea that it's a great idea that everyone's different and that everyone has different uh, beliefs and everybody has different values and everybody has different ways of living their life. I'm not so sure. I think it's better when a society is cohesive. I don't think that, you know, they like to say that diversity is our strength. I don't think so. I don't think diversity is our strength. I think uh, uniformity is our strength. I think cohesion is our strength. I think it is stronger, a society is stronger when the people have the same values, when the men and women are on the same page, when the people in your neighborhood, the people in your, I mean, much less neighborhood, the families today don't even have the same values. But when the people in the same values have the same values in the family, same pe people have the same values in the community, people have the same values in the country, in the culture. If you could be unified in, in values and we all believe the same thing, then there's no confusion about how to deal with one another because we're all on the same page. But you go out there and not only do people have different values, most people have no values at all. Their values, and it's funny because people think that they're so liberated because they can choose whatever they want, but they're not choosing what they want. What they're choosing is the sin that's being displayed on the screens that they watch all day. That's what they call liberation. Let me do what Cardi B is doing. Let me do what I see in the Netflix shows, right? That's where we're getting our values. And Hollywood is pure demonic. So when you talk to most people, if you come across as someone that has values, that has strong, traditional, conservative, religious values, you are, you're going to be, cat, you're a castaway. You're the weird one them not realizing that the culture is the one that's degenerate. So the you know, reason why I say that is not to complain, right? We are where we are, and I say that all the time. We are where we are, and this is where we're supposed to be so that we can overcome and triumph in this world, right? But right now, we're dealing with a world where you don't know what anybody believes. You don't know what anybody holds. You can't trust. When you don't know what people believe, you don't know what they value, you can't trust them. And this is why we're so divided. And I think that's a part of Satan's plan is to divide us by making us not know one another. We don't know one another. We don't know what that other person, uh, it, it, what they think is right and what they think is wrong. Something that you think is wrong, they could think is right. And then you get with that person and they doing all the wrong shit. And you're like, what the hell is going on? And we, you know, we live in the same neighborhood. We go to the same school, but yet we have totally different values. So, as the world becomes more atomized, right? I like that word. Somebody used that word the other day, but fragmented. As we become more fragmented, right? And don't believe that if everybody, that just because you listen to the same pop music and watching the same 
uh, trash on Netflix. Um, does, do, you know, people, they, they, they think that they're, you know, in because they do the same pop culture garbage, but they're not. It's, it's a false sense of inclusion. It's a false sense of uniformity. It's just, it's, it's li literally Satan worship. They're all worshiping the same demonic spirit. Uh, so they're not cohesive, right? There's no, like they say, there's no honor amongst thieves, right? It's, if everybody's, every the culture is teaching every man for himself, then there's really no honor. There's no, there's no honor because I do what, what is my truth, what I want, what I think, and because I worship me, that's what the culture is all about. So uh, what do you do? I think as the world becomes more fractured, like I'm saying, I think as the world becomes more fractured, what's going to happen is there's always a, there's, there will always be a seesaw effect. Whenever things get too far one way, this is just the way of nature, right? Like say it gets darkest right before the sun rises. As things become more atomized and fractured, there's gonna be a consolidation. And we're starting to see it happen already. We're really starting to see it happen, at least in America, and I think we're going to see it, uh, actually we're seeing it worldwide, where nationalism is making a comeback. And that's just a, that's just a sign of a, old, of, of a different type of cohesion that's going to happen. A lot of, a lot of like, to, to be nationalist is to have this cohesive sense of belonging as opposed to being globalist, which is, you know, it's nothing, it's a mess. As this consolidation starts to happen, you're going to find more, uh, concentrated groups of people with the same values and they're going to build uh, what you would call intentional communities. And as far as, you know, the Catholics are concerned or even religious conservatives, um, but I'm talking about, you're talking Catholics in, in, uh, in particular, look at the traditionalist movement in the Catholic Church. In particular, look at the uh, SSPX, which is, which is like a, a, is a very popular, growing conservative uh, faction, I guess you could say, uh, within the Catholic Church that abides by the traditional Latin Mass. It's all built around the Latin Mass. Not all, you know, not everybody that follows the Latin Mass goes to SSPX, which is the Saint, which is the um, SS is uh, Saint Pius, you know, the Society of Saint Pius the Tenth, I think. Um, but what's happening is, if you look, up, I watched a documentary about the SSPX. Uh, in I, I want to say Minnesota or something somewhere where they're really pro proliferating, but they basically grew a community around traditional Catholicism, and the kids are are raised traditionally, but the neighbors are doing the same thing. The neighbor, like the whole community, is is around the church. Look at how the Mormons do it. The Mormons do it too. The whole community is around the church. Uh, it, look at the Muslims too, you know, Muslims come in wherever they, you know, if you're in Europe or whatever, they come in and they create their own communities and they all got the same values. But we're the lost, we're the lost children. We're the lost children. We're the ones that have no place. And when you have no place and it's a bunch of lo it's lost men and lost women, they just going to get lost with each other doing what the pop culture brainwashing tells them to do. So part of what you, what I would, what I would do, right? And what I would what I would strive for, if I was in that situation, would be to find a community that holds the same values that I hold dear, to, hold dear, right? Because when religion is a beautiful thing, because religion means to relink, to reunion, to to, to bring together. Um, you can bring yourself together with other like-minded people. Go find a a community that even sets themselves apart. Right. You got to you, because. Like the Amish, you know, they cut them, they cut themselves off from most degenerate English. That's what they call it. They call it the English, the, uh, the, the Amish English virtue values. Right. I would go move somewhere. I would go find somewhere so that I could be a part of a group of people that had the same values as me. And that way, when I'm talking to a girl, right, if you're talking to a girl and, they, and they're, they're from the same, they have the same values of you, same religion, same conservative views on life, it doesn't become an issue of, oh, how am I gonna explain to this girl that I value chastity and self-control over being a slut and a hoe? 
right? How do I explain this to her in a world that, you know, she's, she's, she's brainwashed by the same shit that I grew up in. So it'd be much easier if you could be in a situation where, uh, where you can, where you, where you know that the women that you're talking to, they value chastity and they, and they won't look at you weird. Like you said, you don't want to be a good old Catholic boy beta. I don't blame you too. And I, let, let me tell you, I'm just, I'm just brainstorming here with you. This sounds like a tough situation to be in for young men these days. I, you know, and I, I, I spit out these values and stuff, but I'm not in the same battlefield as you guys. So I'm just giving you ideas, but you guys got to fight this battle. This, this, this is a battle that you're fighting. I'm not fighting that battle right now, right? So I'm just giving you, I'm just telling you what I think, right? I don't have the right answer. But that's it, man. I wish I had a better answer for you, uh, but I think that's a good answer. I mean, it's, it's a matter of finding people that have the same values as you. It's so tough in this world because everybody's values are so divergent. You don't know what anybody thinks. And most part, if you want to know what people think, just go look at the stupid magazines on the checkout aisle in, in the supermarket and whatever's on there is what most people are thinking about. Like whatever pop culture trash people are into. And that's where most people's brains are at. Most people, most people are not living their lives authentically. They're living their lives based on what they see on TV, Temptation Island and shit like that. They're trying to, they're trying to be, they, they're mirroring themselves off of Hollywood garbage. And so you got to be real, you got to be real careful about who you hang out with, bro. All right, so I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. And we talk on things related to becoming kings in our lives in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.